guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and this is the hardware tour of the HTC HD Mini. HTC likes to say that the HD Mini is like a Mini HD2, but if you put the devices side by side, they really bear no resemblance. The only similarity that I can come up with is that they both have a glass multi-touch uh, capacitive screen, which is, is a first for Windows Mobile. No other Windows Mobile device that you can buy right now, except for these two, have the multi-touch capacitive display. Beyond that, they're very different devices. They're different thickness, they look very different on the back. The software is even quite different, as we're going to see in another video. Now let's take a look at the HD Mini next to a business card. So it is about the same height as a business card. Uh, let's look at it next to the Palm Pixie, which is a very small device, if you've ever held one. It's about the same tallness here. Um, and in terms of thickness, they're about the same thickness, although the HD Mini is not, it doesn't feel that thin in hand, I think, because it's so short and not very wide. So let's zoom into the top and see what we have here in terms of hardware. The screen is completely flush. As mentioned, it is glass. So if I get a metal object, you can hear that it is glass, unlike other HTC devices or other Windows phones, which have resistive touch screens. The screen is 3.2 inches diagonal with a very weird screen resolution, 480 down and 320 across. That's HVGA. We're going to take a look in another video of how third-party apps work for HVGA uh, because Windows Mobile doesn't really support this resolution. It's very strange that HTC went with it. Uh, going down, we have some very flat buttons that use uh, capacitive touch to register button presses. We have call start, call end, home, start menu, which will open up the programs, and back. These are the identical buttons that you get on the HD2. That's really the only similarity uh, beyond the, the screen type that I can think of. Over here on the side, we have a chrome volume rocker, just like we have this chrome strip along the top. Very high quality looking. We got, we've got a kind of chiseled edge here. It's hard to tell, but it helps a little bit to make the device feel thin. On the bottom here, we have a micro SD connector for charging and syncing, uh, plus a volume, or a microphone, I should say, over on the left. Nothing on this side. And on the top, we've got a weird looking uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, but normal headphones will fit in there just fine. So to take off the back battery cover, you have to actually jam your fingernail in this area. And we looked at this in the unboxing. You get this really awesome looking uh, yellow uh, space back here with a very cool looking chiseled look with all the screws and all the different uh, components. Something that we really don't see on most devices. Something very strange is that the HD Mini does not come with an expansion card. Most recent HTC devices have come with at least a 2GB micro SD card, but in this case nothing is there. So we're going to put that back on. And it's also strange, I should mention, um, how you can actually see the piece of glass that sits on top of the screen. I found so far that Pocket Lint likes to collect over here because of this interesting case design. So it's something you want to watch out for if you're considering getting this device. So all in all, thanks to the rubbery coating on the back and the small size, the HD Mini feels very secure in hand. It looks nice. It has a very modern design, also a kind of industrial design back here. And by the way, here is the speaker grill and the 5 megapixel camera. But it doesn't feel or look like anything that you would spot from across the room. Uh, for example, on the HD2, if you had that out on a table, someone would come up and say, wow, what is that thing? But for the HD Mini, it's kind of an ordinary device. But then again, it's a lot less expensive than the HD2. It's about $425. Uh, you can get one now at clove.co.uk, uh, which is a lot less than some of the higher end devices. So it's not intended to be a showstopper, an amazing device. It's supposed to bring forth uh, some of the features from the HD2 into a smaller form factor. In the next video, we're going to talk about software to see exactly how the HD Mini brings forward some of these features that you find on the HD2. That's it for now.